Welcome back. New developments tonight in the legal fight between Phoenix and Tempe over a new entertainment district. The Arizona Coyotes announced today that they're seeking $2.3 billion in damages from the city of Phoenix for allegedly sabotaging the project, which would include their new arena. It comes after Phoenix recently took legal action against Tempe for allegedly violating an agreement the two cities made years ago regarding residential development near Sky Harbor Airport. We're joined tonight by Javier Gutierrez, the president and CEO of the Arizona Coyotes. Thank you for coming down tonight. Thanks for having me, Mark. So uh, let, let's talk about the news that you guys have made today. What do you hope to gain by filing this notice of claim and which ultimately will turn into a counter lawsuit? Well, really what we want to do is push back against Phoenix and say that we're not going to be bullied and we're not going to allow you to have the city of Tempe and its, and its residents be bullied either. Listen, we took them at their word. Their CEO went up in the public hearing right before the city council gave us a unanimous 7-0 vote and said, we're no longer going to oppose this. And we took them at their word and now they're reneging on it. And we're not going to stand for it. We mm -hmm. think that uh, ultimately this is the right project, the right deal, and we want to move forward with it. Why do you feel that the city of Phoenix is trying to sabotage your proposal and project? And what about this agreement that they talk about between Tempe and Phoenix for not developing close to the airport? Well, the reality is that there's already multifamily and residential in these noise contours, not only in Tempe, but in Phoenix as well. And you, by right, you have even higher buildings that are allowed. You have Chase Field, you have Footprint Arena, and you have a number of apartments. So I'm not quite sure what they're trying to do, but it looks like a political stunt and political leverage. And they've told us as much. They want us as the developer to lean on the city of Tempe and get them to amend this intergovernmental agreement. And for us, they, we just think that's highly inappropriate. It was not what they said uh, they would do. And uh, we want to move forward and we want to have our project be the focus, not this distraction. Uh, Javier, as we sit here tonight, where do you think you stand when it comes to the entertainment district and the new arena? Well, we're moving forward. We're in the middle of a campaign. We're asking the voters of Tempe to vote yes on propositions 301, 302, and 303. Again, it's going to create jobs. It's going to bring new revenue. It's going to clean up a city-owned landfill that's been a hazard and environmental liability for decades. And Tempe taxpayers aren't going to pay for it. It's the first time that a sports and entertainment facility in the state of Arizona is going to be privately funded. We are the ones at our risk, not the taxpayers. We're moving forward in this lawsuit that uh, the city of Phoenix has brought forth against Tempe is not going to stop the vote, and it's not going to stop that project. In our business, Javier, we always say follow the money. Mm -hmm. If you follow the money, is this ultimately about money and a potential loss of revenue for the airport and the city of Phoenix? Well, certainly that is going to be something that people are going to talk about. And we've put that out there. You know, the reality is that the city of Phoenix has a number of facilities in its city limits uh, that ours are certainly going to compete for the best concerts and the best events. We know that this is going to be the main and main of the value. Uh, this landmark that we're going to build from this landfill is truly going to be a transformative. But we think it's great for everyone in the valley. This is not just a sports arena. But can I ask you, I mean, you've been in business a long time. You understand understand the X's and O's of economics. Can the Valley support another arena? Absolutely. You're talking about the fifth largest city in America. You're talking about the fastest growing county in, uh, in the country. This is where people want to be and they want these amenities. Tempe Town Lake is already the second most visited site behind the Grand Canyon. This will add to the amenities there in Tempe. We are excited to be already be a part of the Tempe community playing at Mullet Arena in the best experience for uh, fans in the NHL. We want to stay there permanently and we're willing to pay for it. Uh, you're currently playing in the Mullet 5,000 seat arena which is your third building since moving here. I don't think you could go anywhere across the country where a relatively new franchise in terms of the longevity of, of franchises and pro sports where you would be on your third arena and if this passes it would be your fourth why does this franchise have so much trouble finding a permanent home? Well, for us, you know, we just bought the team. Alex Morello bought the team in August of 2019. And when I joined in June of 2020, we said that we were going to come up with an arena solution that was viable and financially really successful and really accessible. And so I can't speak as to the prior ownerships and some of the issues that they've had. We acknowledge that it has been a challenge, but we are here. We've put our money where our mouth is. Alex Morello has put in $30 million to already be in Tempe, and now we're willing to put up over $2 billion of our money to create a permanent home. I have to ask you, the franchise has lost money for 15 straight years. Mm -hmm. A lot of that not on Alex's watch. Mm -hmm. 
But how do you convince Tempe residents to support a franchise and approve an entertainment district when the organization can't seem to turn the corner financially? Well, this project will allow that. And what I talk a lot about is this is not just about a sports arena. This is a best in class urban redevelopment project that you will take a environmental hazard and create hotels and uh, a Rodeo Drive of restaurants and retail, uh, a theater, a obviously live events venue in addition to being the permanent home of the arena. This is what you see around sports. Entertainment districts are economically viable and they, and they supplement all these organizations like the Coyotes. It sounds good. We know that you would be probably the, the anchor tenant on that new sports complex and entertainment mm -hmm. district, but what about other commitments when it comes to residential and retail and commercial? What kind of commitments do you have if this is passed? Well, obviously, we've been waiting to get this approved, and we got a 7-0 vote from the city council. Now it's going to be go to the voters. We proactively took it to the voters because we thought that they should have a voice in such a big project. But we've already gotten a letter of interest from a bill to suit a very large Arizona-based medical company to take one of our towers. We know live events promoters are yearning for this 3,500-person theater that we're going to have. And we know there's going to be concerts. There's going to be other sporting events. There's going to be conferences and conventions that the city of Tempe has been asking for for many years. This is the right project, the right deal, and we're the right team to execute on it. I, I wouldn't be doing my job, Javier, if I didn't ask you about Andrew Barraway, part owner of the team, following his domestic uh, abuse arrest in Colorado. What does the team plan to do going forward? if he is convicted. Yeah, well, obviously, we're not going to make any further comments given that it's a legal matter, but we do support uh, the NHL immediately and swiftly taking action to suspend him. And he has not had any operating role with the organization. As you mentioned, he's a minority owner that came along with the sale. And uh, for us, he has no uh, role whatsoever in the Tempe Entertainment District, no operating role. Uh, we strongly, strongly condemn domestic violence and violence in any way, shape, or form, and we've come out and said that. Javier, thanks for coming down, and on a day that is both both ugly and uh, newsworthy with the counter uh, suit and notice of claim filed by the Coyote Organization. Thank you for having me and allowing us to show yeah. our side. Good to see you. All right.